Right, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how we can stop Microsoft uh, spying on you in Windows 10. Now, there seems to be a lot of people that are concerned about this and asked me to make a video on changing some of the settings. Now, maybe some of these people have said that they didn't use the uh, uh, custom settings, they used the express settings. Is there a way to make changes to these once Windows 10 is installed. Well, there is changes you can make once you're at the desktop and I'll show you how to quickly make those changes yourself. It's pretty straightforward anyway. So what we're gonna do here is take a look at some of the settings. Now, what you need to do here is come down to the little uh, button here and click on settings. Now, once settings are open here, I'm just gonna bring this to the center now once his, your settings are open you want to go into privacy first open up privacy and as you can see there's an array of uh, buttons that are turned on and there's quite a lot of them so this may concern you a little bit and you may want to turn those off now you can check uh, what all these uh, mean uh, by looking on Microsoft's website hopefully I'll put the uh, link in the description that links you to all this information and you can either decide to turn them on or turn them off now a lot of people are suggesting turn everything off uh, and it's entirely up to you whether you want to do that. So you can see here this is one that you may want to turn off. Smart screen I would leave on because this is uh, something that stops malware and stuff like that so that's always good to leave on. Send information again uh, to help them improve uh, typing writing and stuff like that so you want to turn that off obviously. Um, again, uh, let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. You may want to turn that off as well. Now, when you move down uh, the list, again, we're going to move on to location here. Again, you can uh, make choices uh, of what you want to actually turn off. You can read this yourself. You don't need me to tell you. I'm not going to um, tell you what to turn off or turn on. That's entirely up to you as well. You can see some of these are all off camera again let apps use my camera you may want to leave that on if you uh, want to do that in case you just a little bit paranoid about uh, apps like uh, Microsoft Edge ie your browser you may want to turn it off just for a bit of privacy and stuff like that again microphone let apps use my microphone obviously there's been some suggestive uh, talk about uh, it recording your voice and sending that information back and uh, making a profile of your uh, of your of your machine and your, of your name um, I don't know how true that is but if you wish to turn that off you can do you can also read the poli uh, privacy statement here again again uh, speech inking and typing uh, you can also uh, take a look at this and uh, you want to maybe uh, stop getting to know me and uh, you want to turn this off so this is getting to know you basically, it's, it's, as you can see here, uh, Cortana and stuff like that. Again, we want to move down to account information, uh, let apps access my name, picture and other account information. You may want to turn this off as well uh, for a bit of uh, security there. Again, contacts, you can see this here. It's entirely up to you whether you leave this on or off, it's, it's up to you what you want to do. Again, calendar, let apps access my calendar again a lot of this stuff could be uh, very personal to you and you may not want to share that information and if it, if you're okay with it you can turn it on and if you're not you can always turn it off these are completely changeable you can go backwards and forwards and turn them on and off again messaging we're going to uh, disable this radios again we're going to turn that off pretty much looking at other devices here moving on down sync with devices as you can see here let's apps automatically share and sync information uh, with wireless devices it's entirely up to you whether you leave this on um, I'm going to quickly turn that off for now until you want to use it you may want to uh, keep this off until you want to use it and then you can uh, or you can choose apps that you want to sync with that might be a good idea is leave that on and then choose what you want it's entirely up to you okay Again, feedback. Now, um, you can see here automatically it's going to send feedback um, frequently back to uh, Microsoft, as you can see here. And you can put never in here. And also diagnostic and usage data. Again, this is an option that controls the amount of Windows diagnostic and usage data sent to Microsoft from your device. 
Um, now, again, you can't disable this here, but there is a couple of uh, things you can do, which we can cover in another video, which is going into the uh, group policy and also registry. Um, but uh, basic is as low as you can go. I think Enterprise allows you to disable this completely, uh, but on this um, pro version, you can only go to basic. Again, background apps, we're going to move this on down again, calendar, stuff like that. You can choose what you want to do here as well. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to leave these as is for now. So that's those taken care of. Uh, we're going to go back here now. Again, um, there's other areas that you may want to address and, uh, and stuff like that. So you can look at your accounts here. Go for your accounts. So you can see I'm on a local account here. Um, but if you're on signed up to Microsoft as well, it's going to share a lot of that stuff. Um, but we're running on a local account here, which isn't a problem. Again, uh, what I'm going to do here, sync and settings. This has all now been turned off, as you can see. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, let's see here. There's a couple of other areas. Windows Defender, we'll cover this in another video um, and stuff like that. Windows Update. Now, another area that you may want to address is your browser. You can open up Edge. Uh, it's not cool. So we're going to open up Edge here and go into these three little buttons or dots here come down here and hit settings and you can look through here and there's some settings that you may want to change here uh, but if you come down to where it says view advanced settings have a little look at that and then you can run through here pri uh, privacy and services again some features might uh, save data of your device and send it to Microsoft to improve browsing experience you can learn more about that by clicking there again you can uh, decide on what you want to do here you can see uh, send do not track requests back again uh, show search suggestions as I type that's entirely up to you whether you want to enable some of this uh, use page prediction to speed up browsing uh, you may want to uh, turn that off uh, it's entirely up to you whether you leave it on there as well uh, smart screens on there and stuff like that so you can go through some of these settings yourself and decide on what you want to keep now again there's some other stuff that you can disable but they're the main core bits uh, that you can uh, disable so we want to come down to the start button here and then right click and go run and type in there gpedit.msc just like that there click OK now if you haven't got the local group policy editor then don't worry I'll quickly show you uh, the registry key for that but as you can see here if you have got the pro version or higher then you can use the group policy editor we're going to come into where it says computer configuration and then go down to where it says administrative uh, templates open that up and then you should see something saying all settings click on that and then just pull this down here and we want to come down to where it says uh, let's see here there we go allow uh, telemetry uh, you can see here you can read this up but if you want to disable this you can do and if you can you can read some uh, information here um, that collects data but pretty much um, you can disable this if you want this is going a bit more deeper into it but you just double click on this if you wish to do that and then you can enable uh, that like so and then save that okay and that will then disable that um, diagnostic uh, data that's sent back okay I'm just going to leave that is and I'll show you how you can uh, change it in the registry quickly. So I'm going to go into run again and type reg edit just like so and then open up the registry editor. Say yes to the uh, user account control and once you've got that done you want to go to where it says hkey local machine and you want to go into software here Microsoft like so. Pull that open a little bit there you want to come down to where it says Windows just there and then current version and then open that up current version up and then you want to come down to where it says policies and inside here the policies here you can pull this down here and you can see the data collection here okay click on that and on the right hand pane here you should say allow 
uh, telemetry click on that and you should see a one in there and that's because it's enabled but if you want to disable that in the registry you can also do that by clicking uh, on zero there like so and that's that one done okay so let's just take a look at Cortana you may want to disable that so you just click on the button here again click on the search and web window as soon as you do that this will change then you can hit the cog here hit that and then you should see Cortana uh, you can uh, turn this off and stuff like that and that should uh, be um, good enough for you you can also make other changes inside here if you wish to disable a lot of that stuff okay but pretty much that's that and uh, there is a couple of other little areas that you can change like I said uh, OneDrive you can disable you can either do that in the registry or you can do that into in uh, uh, GP edit uh, group policy editor again there's another area which you can do which I'm just going to quickly show you here uh, you can do this in command prompt I'm going to leave that for this video it's in your C uh, drive here if you look inside program data and uh, once you get inside program data inside Microsoft here and then diagnosis and then ETL logs inside here and you can see auto logger inside there this is empty at the moment but there will be something that you can disable on that to stop them sending data back as well okay but pretty much we can cover that uh, in another video uh, there, I can post something on my forum if you wish to do that but pretty much that's it that's the meat and potatoes of it all that's how you can change your privacy settings and stop so-called Microsoft spying on you if you're that paranoid anyway so we're going to wrap this one up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos if you've got any problems with your computers or you got any questions or any video requests you want me to do or you got any software that you if you're a company you got any software that you want me to do a review with you can always hook up and hit me up on uh, my forums or you can join my Facebook fan page and join up over there message me over there and I'll do my best to do those videos for you okay so anyway, thanks again for watching guys thanks for your continued support and I shall see you again in the next video bye for now